What's up Malakas? Welcome back to our channel. I'm George. This is Malaka Motorsports. As you guys saw in our previous videos, also in some other previous videos that we have, we've been running 85 quite some time on a lot of our cars, but most recently we started running E85 in our RS3. Uh, we can't run 100% yet, so we're running a blend of E70. That's taking 91 octane and doing a certain mixture with E85, dumbing it down to getting E70 across the board. Now we've had dozens of messages, dozens of comments on our videos, hundreds of messages on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, asking us, George, where do you guys go um, for E85? How do you know if it's good? I know E85 varies between content. So we wanted to make a quick video of how we test E85 um, every time we get a new batch and we figured we'd show you guys also. All right, guys, so basically here is the ethanol content tester kit that we do. We take this with us whenever we go and travel and pick up a large amount of um, E85 and bring it back or ethanol in general. It's really affordable. We'll include a link of it in the description. It's simple. Three easy steps. Basically add water, add fuel, and shake. So what this kit is, it's a sealed kit, comes with a brand new test tube, which is going to have number indications on the bottle. It's going to let you know what to look at. We'll get into that in just a bit. And it's going to come with either a fuel dropper and a water dropper. It's very simple, very easy. I know it looks like a lot, but really all it takes is just a couple minutes and you know exactly what you're dealing with in terms of the content level in your ethanol. So I'm going to show you guys now the bottle and then the markings on the bottle, and then we'll see what that looks like. All right, guys, here is the water line. We're going to use our water dropper to fill water up until that level. And then all the way at the top of the bottle, it's going to have a fuel line where you're going to fill the rest of the vial up with your ethanol that you want to test. So again, water line on the bottom all the way up into the line, fuel all the way at the top, give it a good shake, and it's going to let us know exactly what's going on. As you guys know, notice that the numbers are kind of backwards. We then turn it around, and through the clarity of the liquid on the inside, once it starts to fizz out, it's going to let us know exactly where our ethanol is at. So let's get to it now. I'm going to fill this up exactly with our water line, and then we'll fill the rest of it up with our fuel. All right, guys, so let's pop open this cap, put it down over here so we don't lose it. So this is our vial. It's clean. It's empty. It's dry for the most part, and what we're going to do is take our water dribbler, right? We're going to stick it into our clean source of water. It doesn't matter. It could be a water bottle. It could be tap water. Whatever you guys use for water, as long as it's clean, use it. And we're going to fill this up up until this point on the bottle where it says water line. I'll fill it, and then we'll zoom in and show you guys exactly what it looks like. Okay, there we are. Squeeze the excess in our bottle here that we have here on the corner, or you could use a, a bucket, whatever is good for you. So that's exactly where we're going to be filling our water. All right, pretty much there's your water line. You're going to try to stay as close to it as possible. If you end up putting too much, no big deal. Empty it and start again. It's really, really simple. Once you do it a few times, you really get a hang for it. So there's our water line. All right, guys, so now I'm going to take my ethanol and my fuel driblet here that I squeeze. You can take it out of your fuel jug. You can put some in a small glass like I did. I'll even show you the glass really quick. I put it in a small glass. I know I end up using a little too much in here. I probably have to dump it back. But again, you could use whatever you'd like to test the fuel. So as long as it's clean. All right, now I'm going to fill this up with the rest of the way up, all the way up to the top of that bottle where it says fuel line. I'm going to try to do it as carefully as I can so I don't mess up. You have to do it slowly. If you've done it a couple times, you end up doing it. All right, we ended up not having enough. I'll get some more. All right. Come back. All right, we're at our fuel line pretty much. Squeeze the excess out into the bottle. Keep my little droplets here. This way I don't lose them. So that is our fuel line there. All right, guys, so this is our fuel line. We just added water on the first step. Second step is fuel, so we met the fuel line. And now we're going to zoom back out, shake it, and then see what it comes up with. All right, guys, so now we just added our ethanol to the tester. Now we're going to put the cap on. All right, now one thing we learned with this kit, make sure there's a little rubber gasket on the inside of that. Uh, otherwise, it will leak. So you don't want it to leak as you're testing. Otherwise, you're not going to have the amount in there that you're testing. So once it's locked down pretty good, you take it. You shake it. Our recommendation is you let it sit for about 30 to 45 seconds. It's set for about 30 to 45 seconds. We're going to zoom in and let's see what our content is at. It's given us just below 90. So this is a good source of E85 for us at a local station. 
Um, it varies. It can go as low as E60, E65, E70. Uh, for those of you guys that are pre-mixing, you know, this is a great tool to have so you can do your pre-mixes and get the right content that you need. Again, just a quick way that you guys can test, kind of check out your content and then see what you're dealing with. It's really easy. It's compact. We end up having a couple of these. We keep one in each car that we take down and pick up E85 in. It cleans up really nice. There's obviously digital testers that you guys can use that's in the car. So if you happen to have a local station that you go to, obviously you can have a ethanol tester or monitoring system inside your car and you can see exactly what's in your fuel line. Um, this is for more or less people who don't have that and then also just pick up E85 in bulk every weekend when they go down to like a local spot with fuel jugs. This is a great way to see what you're dealing with. Um, anyway, again... Hopefully this was helpful. Um, again, you guys don't have to use this kit. It's just a kit that we use. There's plenty of other kits that are out there. If you guys have tried some that are better than this, let us know in the comments uh, below. Let us know what you think. And hopefully you guys like this video. All right, guys, that's basically it. This is exactly how we test our 85 when we go down and pick up in bulk. Again, this is just a kit that we use. There are many other different ways to test ethanol out there. If you guys have a better way, enlighten us. Let us know in the comments below if you have links, other things that you guys have tried that work out better. But so far, within two minutes, we test and we know exactly what we're picking up or if we like where we're going to be getting. So we end up going every week to pick up about 80 or 90 gallons for our vehicles. And this is a really, really good little tester to have in the car. And it's really easy to use and it cleans up really nicely too. So hopefully you guys found the video really, really helpful. Um, I know I mentioned in our last video giveaway that we have coming up. So we're going to be giving an update on that pretty soon as well. Uh, keep your eyes to the channel if you haven't done so. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell button. I'll let you know exactly when we're putting out new content. Till then, we'll see you, Malakas, on the next episode. Thank you.